Hi, my name is Amanda Brady. I'm a speech language pathologist in a hospital, um, and I figured I would do a video of what a typical swallow eval looks like. The majority of your patients in a hospital will be dysphagia patients, meaning they have trouble swallowing. Um, I personally like to just stuff things in my pockets. Um, a lot of people carry around a tote instead or something like that. Um, I typically bring in ice water, uh, nectar thick liquid that's pre-made, or packets if you have that, um, applesauce, chopped up fruit, and crackers. And so this will mimic all of the different textures of the different diets for dysphagia. Um, and after doing a careful chart review, uh, I would sometimes call the nurse and see if the patient's okay to um, have PO intake, because sometimes for a procedure, the doctor wants them to not eat anything. Um, and also just to see if the patient's in the room. Um, and then I'll go in and talk to the patient. So uh, I, it's COVID right now, so I am wearing a shield and then also a surgical mask. Since dysphagia is an aerosol generating procedure, um, dysphagia eval and treatment, um, you're supposed to wear an N95, but uh, you don't have to. Okay, and let's go in and meet the patient um, and ignore the barking dog in a second. Hi, are you John Doe? Yes, I'm John Doe. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm a speech pathologist and I'm here to talk about your swallowing. But first, can you confirm your name and date of birth for me? John Doe 1145. Thank you. Um, and are you in any pain today? No. Okay, so it looks like you've been NPO since they since you came to the hospital, um, meaning you, they haven't let you eat. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, well, I'd like to start by um, taking a look at your mouth and just trying to make sure all the muscles are moving the way they're supposed to, and then I'll give you some liquids and solid foods, and we'll see how your swallowing goes from there. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Okay, let me get some gloves. Pull gloves out of the wall, put them on. Okay, first I'm gonna raise the head of your bed, so... Is that okay? Yes. Okay, I can leave it there. Now let me raise the entire bed up. Okay, John, now I'm going to have you smile real big. Okay, now stick your tongue straight out. Wiggle it from side to side. Very good. Now let me take a peek in your mouth. Go, ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, now Put your tongue on the inside of your cheek and touch my finger. Push, push, push. Other side. Okay, now close your jaw. Don't let me... Try to open it and don't let me prevent it. Good. Now open your jaw and don't let me close it. Now puff your cheeks up with air and don't let me pop them. Good. So my next question. Okay, John, so I am, um, it does look like the muscles of your mouth are moving perfectly. That's great. Um, the strength, coordination, range of motion, it all looks good. Um, I did see a little bit of residue and buildup in there. Would it be okay if I clean your mouth before I uh, feed you any drinks or solids? Yes, that's fine. Okay, let me get my handy dandy toothette. Okay, I'm gonna wet the toothette in some water so that it's not too dry. Um, and then I'll take a paper towel from the wall um, just to wipe off any of that residue. Okay, John, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this toothette and just clean your mouth out real quick.
Oh, found an almond. Okay, and now we'll brush your tongue. I'm seeing just a little bit of white residue on your tongue. Um, I'll have to tell the nurse about that. Oh, there's a tough piece right there. Let me use the back end of this. Okay, got it off. Okay, John, so now, now that your mouth is all clean and I've confirmed that the muscles of your mouth are working fine, um, I'm gonna have you drink some, eat some ice chips from this cup that I was totally holding when I came in here. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna get one little ice chip, just a tiny one, since you haven't eaten for a while. Okay, there you go. All right, so. You're swallowing it as it melts. Okay, now uh, can you go ah uh, for me? Ah, uh, beautiful. Okay, um, now we're gonna try a bigger ice cube. There you go. Okay, swallow, ah, uh, ah, uh, very good. Okay, now I'm gonna have you take a sip from the cup. All right, no coughing, that's good. Now go ah, uh, ah, uh. very good. Now, okay, now here's a straw. Go ahead and take a sip of that. Good, now go ah, uh, ah, uh. okay, very good. Now take three sips. Okay, now go ah, uh, ah, uh. okay, John. So um, when you were drinking that water and the ice chips, I was listening to your vocal quality. It didn't sound gurgly to me. Um, you also didn't cough um, and you are not at risk for silent aspiration. So everything I'm seeing and hearing is telling me that that went down correctly. All the water was going towards your stomach and not towards your lungs. So that's great. Okay, so now we can start with some solids. Um, so here's some applesauce. Okay, go ahead and try a bite of the applesauce. Oh, your mouth fell off. Okay, the applesauce went down great. Um, we're gonna try one more bite just to make sure. Okay, yep, that went down good. Now we are going to advance you and try, let me dig it out of my scrub pocket. Uh, now we are going to try some diced up fruit. So this mimics uh, our diet soft and bite size because we follow the IDC diets. Um, so yeah, so we'll have you try this. Okay, so here's some fruit. Okay, looks like you're chewing it thoroughly. It's not taking too long. Yep, okay, and then you swallow it. Okay, now John, is it okay if I take a peek in your mouth? Okay, yep, it looks like you cleared it all out. I'm not seeing any residue, that's good. What was that? Oh, you want me to scratch your arm? Oh no, your leg. Oh, okay, sure. Is that enough? No, uh, okay. Harder. Okay, is that good? Yes, that was good. Thank you, young lady. You're welcome. Okay, John, so since you did so good with um, those solid textures, I am going to give you a graham cracker now. Okay, so go ahead and take a bite of that graham cracker. Okay, yeah, it looks like you're chewing it up good. All right, take your time. When you're done with it, I'm gonna take a peek in your mouth. Okay. Okay, that's good. And you didn't need any water with it. Yeah, your mouth didn't look very dry, so that was good. We, we like it when your mouth is moist. Um, okay, John, so I had you take a couple more bites of that graham cracker now. So um, everything that I've seen tells me that you are okay to drink um, thin liquids, so like normal li liquids like water, um, and also normal food. Um, so you can order whatever you want 
off the menu as long as it follows um, whatever diet your doctor has you on, like if you're on a diabetic diet or a cardiac diet. Um, so you would want to follow that. But in terms of swallowing, everything is going towards your stomach and not your lungs, as far as I can tell, because I don't have x-ray vision, but I'm not hearing any coughing. You're not telling me that food was getting stuck, um, and it sounds like everything is going the right way. Okay, so now I can go ahead and lower your bed. Okay, your entire bed is down at the floor. Um, now would you like me to lean the head of the bed back more? Okay. Okay, and I see that your call light is in within reach. That's good, okay. Um, would you like me to leave this food here or would you like me to throw it out? You can leave it, I'm starving. They haven't let me eat for two days. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I can leave it for you. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Yeah, can you close the blinds? It's too bright in here. Sure. Okay, is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, can you get me some socks? Uh, sure, yeah, let me go find some. Would you like me to put them on for you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Is that all you need? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, well, it was nice meeting you, and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you. Thanks, honey. Bye. Okay. Call nurse. Calling nurse. Hi, uh, yeah, so I just did the swallow eval, and he is fine for a general normal diet with thin liquids. Um, would you like me to contact the doctor and see if I should put the order in? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, I'll do that. Hi, Dr. Smith. Uh, this is Amanda with speech. I just did the swallow eval on room one, um, and he did great. Uh, he, it, it sounds like he's safe for a diet with thin liquids and a regular solid diet. So would you like me to put that order into the kitchen? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Bye. And that's it. So then you do whatever your hospital wants you to do after visits, which in my case um, is updating uh, that you educated them on, on at least something, um, that you update the uh, interdisciplinary team section because we use Epic. Um, and so that's basically just saying some really uh, simple information. Is the patient NPO, meaning can they eat? Um, are they discharged from speech? Um, any other, the diet level. Um, so I would update that. And then I would bill them um, for the time that I was in there. Um, what else? And then I write up my note. And uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and always remove your gloves and then sanitize before leaving the room.